Assalamu alaikum dear viewers Shoaib Ahmed I was here with the new lecture series of the electrical machine subject and before that we have done our laboratory experiment series of the electrical machine subject now we are going to start our theoretical lecture series of electrical machine subject and today the first lecture of the electrical machine is that electromechanical energy conversion process or introduction to the electromechanical energy conversion principles so before we start this topic we let we need to know what is the electromechanical energy conversion process as you see from the board the definition of that the conversion of the electrical energy into the mechanical energy or the mechanical energy into the electrical energy vice versa is called as electromechanical energy conversion process in this process the both uh, systems are to be uh, inter uh, connected to each other like you are electrical and the mechanical and sometimes the electrical energy is converted into the mechanical energy so that call that can be done in the principles of operation of the motors and whenever the mechanical energy is going to be converted into the electrical energy so this will be is in the process of the generators okay so generators are the similar types you are like uh, ac generators or the dc generators and in our uh, laboratory series we have done several experiments on the dc generators and even though the alternators and alternators are the three phase synchronous generators which are used in our power plants to product for the production of the bulk amount of the electrical power okay now electromechanical energy conversion process represents from this block diagram that electrical system the coupling field and the mechanical system in both system there is in between as a coupling field the coupling field may be the electrical field or maybe the mechanical uh, magnetic field sorry now if we are starts from this block diagram to this electrical energy is an input to that mechanical energy as output means start from the uh like left hand side to the right hand side this principle of operation can be called as the motor operation because here electrical energy can be provided as input coupling field is a magnetic field and there will be there will be a mechanical system means mechanical output means mechanical power is to be produced with the help of the electrical supply that will be given to that motor and if we reverse this process from this block diagram if we are given the mechanical energy coupling field is like your magnetic field and we are obtaining the electrical energy so that will be called as the generator process so that will be called the generator process or the alternator means here the production of the electrical power is to be obtained from the output of the alternator or the generator so this is the total working of the your conversion process now let's see an example that what is the electrical uh, what is your electrical uh, coupling magnet uh, coupling field like uh, electrical field so if we are using the electrical field as a coupling medium so take a example of the capacitor a capacitor has the two oppositely charged plates in between there is a dielectric or the insulator now if we are applying the force for the movement of the free electrons from one plate to another plate so what happen your electrical energy is converted into the mechanical energy as you can see from the board but if we are applying the external force to the plates and then the plates are to be like you are separated then what happen your mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy so this phenomena is totally used in our electrostatic voltmeter because they are used for the measurement of the high voltages okay and then magnetic field this is very interesting one how the magnetic field is that whenever a magnetic field is used in our electromechanical energy conversion process so a current carrying coil for example a solenoid we are placing in a field around there is a magnet and what happened the magnetic field has been established if we if it is a current carrying coil if current carrying coil placed in a uniform magnetic field it experiences a mechanical force and that mechanical force tends to rotate the shaft of any machine like your motor and then what happened a torque has been produced what is the torque that is a force multiplied by the distance displacement 
So if the torque is to be produced, obviously, if you are applying this principle is to be work in your uh, case of that your motors, then you are applying the electrical energy and the mechanical energy has been produced from the output of that. And then the torque has been established and here the mechanical energy is in the form of the rotational energy because shaft is in the rotation mode. RPMs, revolution per minute, okay. And then we have uh, electromechanical energy conversion devices. Like here, uh, I have written the three like uh, major uh, devices for the electromechanical energy conversion. The transducer, as you can see, the fundamental or basic definition of the transducer is that it converts the one form of energy into another form of energy. Then for they are used for the small uh, measurement of the signals and even though the controlling so like example of that microphone and like loudspeaker so if you are using the cellular phone obviously there will be the microphone and receiver receive the voice from the loudspeaker obviously this totally phenomena is that your voice energy is converted into the electrical energy so this will be the like a transducer operation okay then force producing devices the force producing devices are you like your relays, your electromagnets, the relays are the protection devices, your electromagnetic relays when you are using for your protection purposes means you are using the plunger or any kind of the electromagnetic fields which are used to operate the mechanism of the relays. So this will be like your force producing devices. Number third is that continuously conversion devices. So these are the continuously conversion devices that your electrical energy is converted into the mechanical energy in the case of your motors and mechanical energy is going to be converted into the electrical energy is your case of your alternators. So alternators are used in our power plants to produce the bulk amount of the electrical power and to produce the three phase alternating voltage from their output side and then these are the continuous, continuously conversion devices why because the process overall that process is to be continuous with respect to the time okay so this process is totally based on that continuous conversion devices your motors and your alternators are that examples of that device so this was the lectures uh, my dear viewers and then we have uh, understand that today's lecture or summarize i'm going to summarize the lecture is that Electromechanical energy conversion process is the process of conversion of the electrical energy into the mechanical energy or the mechanical energy into the electrical energy. So this was the definition of that and your motors and the generators are the example of that your electrical and the mechanical energy conversion devices. So this was the block diagram that I have discussed that a basic uh, your electromechanical energy conversion process involves into three parts like your electrical system, coupling field and the mechanical system. So if the process is to be starts from the electrical to the mechanical, so this will be process is called as a process of the motor and if that will be the reverse process obviously it will be the process of the alternator. So this was the topic of uh, today's lecture. I hope that you have understand and uh, inshallah uh, we will uh, uh, move towards our next lecture series and uh, cover the different types of the electrical machines in the coming lectures and at the last please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel Shrevi Madhav for more interesting videos related to the electrical engineering area. Thank you very much.